Yo guys, what's up? Carol here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team, and as you had guessed from the title of today's video, it is going to be a Foot Heroes Harry Kuehl review. So heading into the player bio, he's 5'11 tall, medium medium work rate, left footed primarily, with the 4 star skills and a 3 star weak foot, and he does come in for around 300,000 coins, so he is very, very expensive. Luckily for me, I managed to get him from the Foot Heroes Max 87 rated guaranteed pack. When it comes down to the alternative positions, he can play cam, left mid and left wing. Heading into the attribute details, I decided to slap a hunter chem style on him. It does take the pace up to 98, attack positioning goes up to 94, finishing up to 93, shot power up to 91. He does have 87 long shots, 99 volleys and 85 penalties. The passing looks very very good, 91 vision and crossing, 78 free kick accuracy is decent, he's got 85 short pass, 87 long pass and 90 curve. Dribbling looks decent as well, 86 agility with 85 balance and composure, 84 reactions, 87 ball control and 91 dribbling. So depending on the card, not that good but you're not getting him to defend so it doesn't matter. But when it comes down to the physical, does have 76 jumping, 78 stamina so he is going to get tired pretty quickly but he does have medium medium work rate so maybe I will be proved wrong. The strength and aggression isn't very good either but again you're not really expecting him to be that strong type of player. This is for when he won the PFA Young Player of the Year at Leeds before his move to Liverpool. Heading into the trades on this card, unfortunately he does not have the finesse shot trade but he does have, as you'll see in a second, the outside foot shot trade which is very very useful especially for those outside foot shots. With that being said we are going to jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 87 rated foot heroes Harry Kuehl. Bear in mind that I am going to be playing this card as a cam in a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. Anyway, heading into the first clip, Kuehl gets it, brilliant take, cuts inside and whoops it into the bottom corner. Brilliant finesse from Harry Kuehl, very good take and a very very good goal. Moving on to the second goal in this game, Bayern Minus is his debut. We have the ball here with Phil Foden, get it into Mascherano, he finds Haaland. Haaland gets it onto Harry Kuehl, Darwin Nunes makes a good run, Kuehl sends him through brilliantly, one on one and he tucks it away into the back of the net. No doubt about him missing that, but Kuehl does get the first assist of this video. On to the next clip in the same match, Darwin Nunez gets it, controls it very well, gets it to Erling Haaland, Kuehl is in the box, Haaland plays it across to him on the 3 star weak foot, testing it out and well he scores the first shot on it and it is a very good shot, inside the box, clinical finish and it's 3-2 and we get 2 goals and 1 assist so far with Harry Kuehl. Moving on to the next clip, to get the hat trick, a tap in but a goal nonetheless, collects it, well first time. And he does end up scoring a very good goal, good awareness from him to run into the box and a pretty good finish. Moving on to the next clip in the second half here, Kessier gets it into Kuehl, Kuehl finds Darwin Nunes, you can see if you can get that ball back into him and we get it into Navas, he cuts it back to Kuehl and we're going to test out the long shots here, look at the dribbling, keeps it really close, goes for goal and calls it into the top corner, what a finish that is from Harry Kuehl, ridiculous goal, brilliant dribbling from him and a fantastic finish. Moving on to the next clip here, a lot of clips in the first game, but good drilling from him and a brilliant pass, gets it into Foden, perfectly weighted, goes for goal and unfortunately the keeper is there to make a good save, but the dribbling on the card is very good, so is the long passing and short passing. So we're going to test his corners out now, he does have decent free kick stats, I will take a free kick with him later on in this review. I'm going to go for goal from the corner because his keeper is basically in the middle, okay he's going to move his keeper back, so I'm basically just going to knuckleball it as hard as I can into the box and see what happens. It's drilled in, Gomez takes a touch, we get lucky, falls to Tellers who smashes it into the top corner but all that possible firstly because of the pass from Kuehl to Foden and secondly from the actual corner by Harry Kuehl. Again in the same game, full Foden gets it into Kessier, 1-2 with Kuehl, this is to win us the game in the 84th minute, he sends Kessier through on goal and smashes it into the near post. Brilliant finish but Kuehl getting 4 goals and two assists on his debut getting six goal contributions well basically yeah six goal contributions in the first game and we were able to win that game 7-6 moving on to the second match Harry Kuehl gets it makes a good pass in behind for Haaland off balance still makes that pass and Haaland should honestly really be scoring that unfortunately Kuehl gets robbed of an assist but we are going to try and get another one here Haaland to his left down well, more to his left, we send it through to Darwin and it is a good finish. Get Kuehl an assist, rightfully so, 
and it is 1-1 in this game. Good pass from Hercule, slips it in behind for Darwin Nunes, and he is able to get us an equalizer in this game. Moving on then, Nunes gets it into Kuhl, gonna see if he can make the pass, just use Holland as a dummy run actually, go for goal, and he really connected with that outside foot shot. Brilliant hit, and unfortunately it doesn't end up in a goal. Again, we're going to try and get another goal here, easy in terms of an actual assist, a good pass though from him, and Darwin basically does most of the work. Brilliant finish from Darwin Nunes, but Kuhl just dropping deep, making that pass off into him. Darwin goes for a run and finds the back of the net. With that being said, heading into the next match here, the best goal of this video in my opinion, a really really cool goal, Holden gets it, does really well, moves it on to Kuhl, and what a finish that is. From Harry Kuhl, a fancy finish, we're gonna have another look at it here. Foden gets it into him and a little roulette spinny type of finish, ridiculous from Kuhl and a really cool goal. That was horrendous, that was terrible, I do apologize. But regardless, a really really good goal from Harry Kuhl and we do end up getting an equalizer. Moving on to the next clip here, Harlan gets it into Kuhl, feeds it back into Erling Haaland, it's a fantastic pass and Haaland with a big chance, Haaland goes for goal and tucks it away and scores. 2-1 in the 87th minute, this guy pauses and he did end up quitting for some reason although it was really late. On to the next game here, Kuhl takes a touch, slams it across goal into the top corner and this guy is also going to quit. He pauses and this man is out of here. Heading into the next match with Harry Kuhl, one of the last games of this video. I did mention that I am going to test out his free kick stats. And well, this is me testing it out. From the free kick just outside the box, this guy has got some really weird thing going on with his wall. I went for goal and unfortunately the keeper makes a good save. But a good free kick from Kuhl, unfortunately it was a little low. I was trying to hit the knuckleball type of free kick, but it didn't really work out. On to the next club, some ridiculous dribbling here from Kuhl. Gets past one, gets past two, three, four. Brilliant Kuhl and it is just, just wide. Ridiculous work from Harry Kuhl. Brilliant dribbling and unfortunately we don't end up scoring. But we are going to end up scoring here. Not with Kuhl, but we get an assist with him. Another assist with him. And it is a good finish by Erling Haaland. But you guys saw some brilliant dribbling from Kuhl a few seconds ago. You guys can see that again here. Sister defender down. Absolutely sends him on a holiday. And Darwin Nunes tucks it away. And we do go ahead and take the lead in this game to make it 2-1. And Kuhl getting two assists out of the two goals. So, with that being said, it is time to review the card. Like I mentioned, I'm using my cam in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. And a sensational goal return. 13 goals in 6 games is absolutely phenomenal. And in my opinion, this guy is a very, very good card. I will talk about the actual details in detail, but like I said, very, very good goal return. This is in Division 5, and he almost got me to Division 4. I don't think I'm going to have time to try and get the 8 wins today because, unfortunately, I'm university. But regardless, um, Harry Kuhl, a very good goal return, and he is a very, very good card. Heading into the attribute details now, the pace is sensational with the Hunter Kemsal, can easily run it behind and get away from play. So for pace, 9.3 out of 10, it is sensational. The shooting is kind of decent, it's not great, but it's not bad either. I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.7. And the reason why it's 8.7 is because sometimes his shooting feels very, very soft, which is weird because it's got 87 shot power. But it does feel very soft for some reason, so an 8.7 out of 10 for shooting. The finishing is pretty good and so are the long shots. The passing on the card is phenomenal, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10, I feel like this is one of his best stats. He can make a pass from anywhere to anyone. And that is clearly being shown with the 7 assists. So for passing a 9 out of 10 and dribbling is also going to get a 9 out of 10. This guy's dribbling is phenomenal, he is a little big in game like stock wise. But regardless, the dribbling on this card is very quick, you guys saw the one clip where he ran past those 4 players and nearly ended up scoring. So the dribbling is phenomenal, physical. It's not great, but he is kind of stocky, so he can all off players here and there. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for physical. Value for coins, 300,000 coins for this card. I would say it's worth it. It's a very good card. Best position would be a cam, and best cam style would be the hunter. With that being said, I do bring it into the video. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.